Welcome to the College Football Week 10 Saturday of Slate Breakdown. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined here as always by Cody Malstrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on to Missouri at Georgia and potentially the best team, probably the best team Georgia's played all season, uh, this Missouri team. And we've all really liked watching this team this season. Cody, I'll let you start here. Any thoughts on this current spread at sitting at 15.5 or the total at 54.5? I'm all over the over on this one. Um, I love Missouri. I love them. Spread-wise, I won't be interested unless it's touch of 17. I like the key number. It's in a dead zone right now. Uh, But I think they have enough of what it takes to at least do their part for the over. Now, granted, Georgia defense is still an elite unit. Um, It's going to be very, very tough to kind of continue the consistent um, elite passing metrics that Brady Cook has been putting up. But one thing that they're kind of going to have now, granted, and the metrics do not tell this story, they are very below average in rushing, uh, Missouri. But Cody Schrader's coming with some momentum. And one issue that we have seen with Georgia is they struggle with rush explosiveness, as our metrics say. They are 82nd in rush explosiveness. Even when a team like Auburn, who had no pass attack, could only run it, still found moderate success against Georgia's defense just by consistently running it down because Georgia just struggles with explosiveness. Like like they, like any big chunk kind of frees up really the rest of the playbook and it, it, it helps move the sticks. I think Missouri can do has, has what it takes to at least do their part. And then on the other end, Georgia will have absolutely zero issue scoring at will. Um, uh, ex- expectations were a little lower when Brock Bowers went injured. I kind of was on the other side of it. I kind of thought it was actually kind of going to open up their offense. Now this is not like a knock on Brock Bowers, like whatsoever. It's just, that's just what they have to resort to is now really spreading it out, um, getting their, the best athletes, like Georgia is number one, probably in athletes, five-star everywhere, um, playmakers on the open field. They're going to shred this Missouri defense. Um, Missouri average uh, passing metrics. Carson Beck, he's been improving with each and every game, even though I still can't stand him. He's very ugly. Um, <laughs> Georgia's going to do their part. Missouri's going to have to try and stay within scoring pace because they have a lot to play for, obviously, with this one. I just I have no interest in the spread, but I'll gladly take the over at 54 and a half. Yeah, agreed. I'm on the over. I uh, love getting it under the key 55 there. And I thought Carson Beck looked awesome against Florida last week and should look awesome again. And Lyman Conkey looks fully healthy, 135 yards and a touchdown last week. And I'd be looking out for a big game from Dominic Lovett. He transferred over from Missouri before the season, had an excellent season last year for them. And like Cody's saying, this Brock Bowers injury really just forces them to open up the offense more and involve these receivers. And they do have a really talented wide receiver room. So I think we're going to see a nice passing performance from Beck here. On the other side, Brady Cook, the best quarterback Georgia's faced all season. And this isn't quite the same elite Georgia defense, in my opinion. Luther Burden's one of the best receivers in the country right now. So, yeah, I I see this as a a points fest. Uh, Schwartz, do you agree? Yeah, I'm getting tired of going last because you guys are absolutely hitting the nail on the head. Uh, you guys have a, you hit a lot of my notes. The Tigers have been my boys this year. They're in overwide. They are to overs for me what Notre Dame is to unders, pretty much. But the Georgia offense also waking up a good bit after we've, we've noted they sleepwalked through a lot of this season. They're going to be able to score at will on the, uh, the Mizzou pass defense. Big lad McConkey day, as Wayne kind of alluded to. He's been looking Right, just as they needed him, because that's just how things work for Georgia. I'm slightly afraid for Brady Cook, but as the best quarterback ever with the name Brady anywhere on his birth certificate, he's going to be okay. He's going to at least contribute enough points for Mizzou to help. Because I mean, do you guys see Georgia staying like below the 30s? No. So they're gonna they're gonna score well. Playbooks opening up. They're dialing in for this stretch run. They're They've been basically they've been like a fighter conserving their energy all along. I'm convinced this year they they looked bad because they didn't need to look good yet. They knew that wins don't have to be pretty when you're a two time defending champ. You prove yourself as long as you keep getting the dubs. So Georgia's absolutely woken up. This is probably the best overall team they've played, uh, especially offensively. So they're going to be sure to get scoring, keep the foot on the gas pedal. Fifty four and a half, like Wayne said, gives you access to a very key number. This is my favorite overplay of the week for sure. Oh, also one thing I forgot to mention. Um, Georgia, uh, is as elite as they are, they struggle defending the red zone. Um, they are 68th in points per opportunity, Missouri, uh, the 24th in points per opportunity. So, I mean, scoring opportunities will be at a higher quality rate than probably most would, would expect when Missouri gets inside the red zone. 
Yeah, and I like I like what Schwartz said. It's Missouri team. They're up to 14th in the AP poll, and I do think Georgia's going to be up for this game uh, back at home. And I, I think it'll be a great atmosphere. And yeah, should see some scoring from both teams. So that'll do it for us. Exciting times. We're getting close to the to crunch time of the season. We have a lot more content coming at you guys. Um, so we get in conference championships, bowl games. We're going to have a ton of content on YouTube and the website. So make sure to follow us, like, and subscribe. Get all of our videos when they get posted. A lot of NFL content this week as well. So stay tuned for that. We will catch you guys on the next video.